Here's Ingles. Outside Crowder. Five on the clock. To take the lead. Drills it from outside. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Ball outside. Kicks it to Hart. Tucker finds Gordon. Down to five on the shot clock. To end the cold streak. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Well, I tell you what, he's putting together quite a game here. Knocking down shots and building upon this lead. Knocked loose. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Ingles kicks to Gobert. On the wing, Mitchell. To the inside. And Crowder gets it to go. On the assist by Mitchell. Mitchell's got five assists in the game. Harden against Mitchell. Harden surveying the D. Harden draws the double. It's stolen by Gobert. Harden against Mitchell. Over Harden. And it's Mitchell missing. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. Here's Paul. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And the Rockets lead by two. A, a good score inside. And, and the defense really offering very little resistance. Well, they don't have anybody to blame but themselves. Got to prevent them from getting good looks this late in the ball game. You got to come up with stops. Here's Mitchell. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And he has the chops for this. Raising the intensity when it matters most. Yeah, he's really calm in these situations. Simply takes his time in tight spots. You got to be patient. And he is playing to his strengths. And Mitchell no good on that one. Here's Tucker. And here's Gordon. This is DePaul. He kicks it to Harden. Shot clock at six. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. And that'll be his third foul so far. Tucker defended by Crowder. Back to Paul. Six to shoot. And Tucker has it in the corner. And he really seems to just have lost his touch at halftime. Off target with his three. A wide open look here for Ingle. No good on the triple. Houston's gotten just one of four three pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Passes it to Paul. to Tucker. Here's the three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got six assists now in the game. Tell you what, for a guy who's inconsistent from three, Tucker's showing you he can be scary out there at times for a defense. Ingles kicks to Rubio. Tries a three. It's rebounded by Houston. Harden outside. Over Mitchell and a little luck that time, but it drops. And it's a five point rocket lead. This is not unfamiliar territory for Harden. He is used to being the go to guy, especially when his team needs a big hoop. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got 35. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a common effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. against Mitchell to the inside. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Count it. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Chris Paul picks up that great move to get to the rim. I think they're going to take the aggressive approach down the stretch. And, Greg, you know that's never a bad idea to be the aggressive. I mean, what a ball game we've got going on here, guys. He's 
really the guy you want on the strike in that situation. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's clutch. Houston's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. 106 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Good D by Rubio. To the middle. Stolen by Harden. It's three on three on the fast break. With a floater, a shot, no good. So Utah will take it the other way. Crowder, the pass to Mitchell. Now, that is cold-blooded. Indeed it is. Love seeing them deliver when they need him most. No fear taking these shots. I love it. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. I agree. I mean, you would have been better off using it on the floor and not on the shot. But the foul had to come either way, so it is what it is. Derek Favors checked in for Utah. And both free throws good for James Harden. And nice there. He does not waste those opportunities. Just what they needed with this game still in doubt. Here's Mitchell. Offensive rebound. Gobert. Money! And you just hate to give up those second chance points. Yeah, those are back crushers. I mean, they really crack your back when you give teams second shots like that. Timeout called the Rockets. They're behind by two. 27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ball outside, beyond the arc. Gobert pulls it in. And it's really a tail of two quarters. Shot it so well in the last, but this one can't get anything to fall. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. Foul right away. Second one is good. We both at the line. And it's a four-point ball game. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. It's Harden with the drive. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Man, they're getting a fantastic effort from James Harden. Hey, great job to get the bucket and to get to the line. When the game's on the line, you want your guys attacking like he did there. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And the second of two is good. That will put them up by two. Twelve seconds left here in the fourth quarter. deep and so it's Utah who's straight by with the win backs against the wall Greg but they showed us tonight they are not done yet you can just never count this group out I mean unlikely to see a full comeback but we've seen it before we have a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside David Thanks very much, Rudy. This is a defense-first team, and you picked it up in the second half. What changes did you make at the half? Uh, I feel like we weren't focused in the first half defensively, and uh, we just have to come back and communicate and just be focused, you know, and that's what we did. Attention to detail, Rudy. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.